Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael and you're watching IDB. In this video, I want to talk about the current state of iOS 16 because honestly, I am not that impressed with iOS 16 so far. I am experiencing a bug almost every single day on my iPhone. Actually, I am experiencing a bug every single day. On my iPhone 14 Pro, ever since release, I haven't had a single day with just a completely stable experience on the OS. And I said this in my previous video, but this really isn't the experience that you expect from Apple and a phone that costs this much money. So in this video, I wanna dive a little bit deeper into this issue. I wanna talk about what Apple is apparently doing to fix these problems. And I also wanna talk about my recommendation as to what Apple can do in the future to prevent this. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. So I first wanna start off by showing you a tweet sent by Marquez and he asked users of the iPhone 14 and iOS 16 if they are experiencing any bugs. And I would really recommend you check out this tweet because if you scroll through the responses, some of these bugs are just comical. So if you look at this one, this user is experiencing double dynamic island, which is just a crazy UI bug that I wouldn't expect. We also have Max reporting here that battery life has been horrible, and he's also mentioning some bugs around the dynamic island as well. And also my colleague from IDB, Jim, is mentioning some lock screen freezes, which I am also experiencing. And another one he's also seeing that I have experienced as well is with the True Tone display. So sometimes when I unlock my phone and I have True Tone enabled, it takes about two to three seconds for the True Tone to turn on. So it's really jarring when the iPhone's display goes from a blue color to more of an orange color, and it kind of snaps into the True Tone. That feature is meant to be enabled all the time. It's not meant to just turn on when you unlock your phone. So all of these bugs are really frustrating, and I'm glad that it's not just me, because if you scroll through all of these responses, again, like I said, there are tons of responses of people saying that iOS 16 is not stable. So I really think that Apple needs to focus on stability more in the future because in my opinion, this is just unacceptable. And Apple is apparently getting ready for iOS 16.0.3 with even more bug fixes following the iPhone 14 launch. But I have a feeling that this is just gonna be like iOS 16.0.2 all over again because a whole bunch of issues were reported with iOS 16 and the iPhone 14 Pro and then Apple went out and rushed the update for 16.0.2 and that release still has a ton of bugs. So I'm really hoping that Apple can take their time with 16.0.3 and even better, I hope they can take my next recommendation and focus on iOS 16.2 and release literally no features and just focus on bug fixes. I remember way back in the day when Apple announced iOS 12, at the very start of the announcement, they mentioned how they were doubling down on performance. And I would really like to see a similar thing this year with iOS 16.2. If Apple could put iOS 16.2 into beta for a few weeks and literally release no new features and just focus on making it way more stable and fluid, I think that would be a really good decision. And as I mentioned, I'm experiencing a ton of freezing on the lock screen of my iPhone and this is probably the most common bug. So I don't know if this is because of the iPhone 14 Pro's new always on display. Maybe Apple is having some issues running the display at one hertz because sometimes when I tap the display, it just doesn't wake up and it doesn't respond to any touch. And then another really strange bug I had today, actually just before I sat down to start filming this video, was with the dynamic island. So I was in Twitter and I was trying to scroll and the screen wouldn't respond, but I was feeling haptic feedback on my phone and the island was actually animating at the top of my phone as I was trying to scroll through Twitter. So the display was responding as if I was pressing holding on the island, even though I was trying to scroll at the bottom of the screen. So that was a very strange bug. And another really strange bug I experienced the other day, I know the bugs don't end honestly, is my iPhone got hot randomly, like really, really hot. So it was sitting on my night table and it wasn't doing anything. It was at room temperature. It wasn't charging. It was just sitting locked with the always on display turned on on my night table. And I picked up my phone and the area right underneath the camera was really hot. And that's actually where the CPU lives on the iPhone. So for some unknown reason, the CPU was getting ramped up to a really high clock speed, even though the iPhone was just sitting on my table. So I have no idea why the chip in my iPhone got burning hot, even though it was doing literally 
literally nothing. That is a very strange bug. And the last bug I wanna mention, I promise this is the last one I'm gonna talk about, is these two toggles at the bottom of your lock screen. Sometimes when I unlock my phone or just tap the always on display to turn on my lock screen, these toggles will take two to three seconds to turn on. And this can be really frustrating if I wanna quickly access my flashlight or my camera. So hopefully that can be fixed as well in a future software update. So as it stands right now, I still think that iOS 16.1 beta is more stable than iOS 16.0.2. As you've seen throughout this video, 16.1 is still full of bugs. However, I did experience a ton more app crashing on 16.0.2, and luckily I haven't experienced as much of that on 16.1. So as I said, bugs are still present in 16.1, but if you are having issues with app crashing, 16.1 is a bit better for that. In my previous video about iOS 16.1, I touched on all the new features and hands down the biggest one is the new wallpaper UI inside of settings. So now you can scroll through all of your set wallpapers. You can actually see that was a bug there. It took so long to load all my wallpapers. But here in 16.1, you can now view all of your wallpapers right within settings and you can add a new wallpaper down here and you can also set a new wallpaper right here from inside of settings. So if you missed that video on 16.1, I'll have it linked up here in the top right corner, but I do have two other changes that I noticed in 16.1 that I didn't mention in that video. And the first one is a much faster Face ID animation. So in 16.0.2, the Face ID animation was really drawn out and really slow, and the animation would take forever out of the island. And now in 16.1, I'll just sign into my banking app here for an example. You can see that the Face ID animation is a lot quicker when it comes out of the island. And the final new change I found in 16.1 has to do with the island in landscape mode. So in iOS 16.0.2, the island just wouldn't work at all in landscape mode. And now in 16.1, it actually functions as expected. So when I go from ring to silent, as you can see, it actually works now in landscape mode. And it also works for other things such as music playing and when you start charging your iPhone. To finish off this video, I wanna do the same thing that Marquez did. And I want you to comment down below and tell me how your experience Experience has been with iOS 16. Let me know any bugs that you have encountered and also tell me if you're running iOS 16.0.2 or iOS 16.1 beta. Definitely leave your comments down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. So that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to take my iPhone and go experience even more bugs. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you next time.